X death here in the at the top of his castle. I had to uh, do a little bit of leveling today before I started. Man, come on. I always hate random battles after the final save point before a boss. Um, I found I was a level 21 last night when I was uh, just about to take on X death. It was getting late. So I um, decided I need to do just, just a bit of grind. need to get up to level 22. Because he's got that level 3 flare attack. And I'd like that to be a wasted turn for him instead of a game over for me. Um, we're getting close to the end here. Um, the only... I'll, I'll probably will still do the, uh, the fork tower just to get the wonder rod because I... I think for Neo X Death, I'm gonna need to have Shell on somebody. <laughs> um, for all the Jets. <laughs> that was a bad first, uh... That was a bad first move by X Death. And that's a irritating move that he does. <laughs> now I gotta get guys set. Alright, not too much damage there. I almost would have preferred a mystery wall, or not not a mystery wall, but a um, jitterbug from him. Ferris has the bone mail on, so I'm gonna have to heal with uh, the fire. So even a protected vacuum wave is too much for my dancer in the front row there, huh? That's okay. That's okay. That's nice with the bone mail there. Um, and she doesn't have, she doesn't have Fyra, so... I think we're just gonna be wind flashing. There we go, so that can do decent damage. Okay, I can't actually change that, huh? I have flame rings on everybody, so I'm able to heal with fire. I just have to remember that Ferris has bone mail, so I can't start throwing, uh... Potions and heal spells at Ferris. And I'm gonna have to keep, um... I'm gonna have to keep reviving, um, my dancer up there. But, uh, I think that's just gonna be part of my game plan, is just have to keep throwing Phoenix Downs at him. Because every, every physical attack is gonna take him out, it looks like, even with, uh... Whoa! All three zombies. Ouch. I don't even know how many holy waters I have. Did I forget to buy holy waters again? Looks like I did. Oh, I hate when I do that. I hate because I, at the beginning of the game I always buy stuff. And I forgot holy waters. So this is probably going to be a failed attempt because I just need, I need better zombie luck on zombie breath. Level 3 player, that's gonna be a way to turn for him. That might. Ow! 
uh, that might actually help. I might, after his timer runs out, I might actually be able to revive him as a normal character. We'll see. If I end up winning this one, that will be hilarious. Because those guys will absorb uh, damage from him. And once we get him past his first phase, the only... His physical attacks can, can affect me. But, um... Fire will heal me. Ice is nullified by the flame ring. So once we get him past the first phase, we'll do it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mash this one out and see. Okay, so that'll that'll take her out. That'll take her out. Alright, so I need better zombie luck because I was stupid and forgot to buy holy waters. I don't know how many times I've done that in this fiesta, in the second world. Forgetting to buy holy waters. It's it's such a noob thing to do, but I just uh, by world two I usually have a pretty good momentum going on this game, and I don't like to stop and buy the new item that you can buy. If you could buy them in World 1, I would buy them when I just go to my first shop and buy all my restorative items, but uh, can't buy them in World 1. So I need I need fewer zombies when zombie breath rolls around. Alright, Doom's a better start than taking out my dancer on the first shot. And I don't know how much good protect will do, but uh, we're going to go with this. Alright. A little bit better start here. And I just, I need to keep getting good wind slash luck. Yep. Yep. And that'll, uh, you'll have that. Yeah. Get her into the back. Oh, alright. That worked out nice. So it must be just the vacuum waves that'll take him out in one shot. Must be just the vacuum waves that'll get him. Mark does have, um, Lamia's Tiara. on Ferris. Oh shoot. So Ferris with the bone mail is uh out of this match. I can't bring I can't bring Ferris back. Hi, Hickory. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's okay, Hickory. I kept... I, I seem to have uh, kept missing you yesterday. Um, I see you would go live, and then I would... I'd get on there a little bit afterwards, and then uh, I'd miss you, but... Uh, no worries. No worries. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping in. I was kind of a fool and didn't... Um, I didn't buy holy waters before I got into this tower. It's just the little detail that I always forget about is, is buying holy waters because he does a zombie move. So I got wiped out on my first um, attempt on him by a zombie attack. I need to get him through this first phase. Because once I get him down to less than half hit points, um, I'm pretty well covered with what I have. But uh, it's this first part when he's got the most dangerous stuff for me. So we'll see if I can get through the first phase here. All right, well, I'll keep an eye out for you tonight. Oh, are my rods farther up? Yeah. This guy just has so much health. 
And Ferris with the bone mail. If I, if I don't win this one, I'll have to think about bone mail on Ferris. I'll have to rethink that uh, decision. Because uh, not being able to revive her when she gets taken out by something like um, Earthshaker is, is inconvenient. Help that way. Oh, there's Earthshaker, so that's gonna. That rolled around again, huh? Earthshaker rolled around again. So when I try this again, which I almost certainly will, I'll have to uh, rethink the bone mail on Ferris. And I need to get... dump more damage on him... faster. If I can get this boosted here. That's not much good for me. Alright, zombie breath, and this will probably take us out. Nope, okay, just get him, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna rethink the bone mail on this one for X Death. I thought that this might take a couple of attempts. Forgetting the holy waters was, uh, was a stupid mistake, but, um, I think I can still get him. I've just got to be, uh, a little bit lucky and a little bit, uh, a little bit better decision making. And I should be able to, uh, to work him down at least through that. And once he's through the first phase, I'll be all right. Maybe I'll try back rowing these guys until we get uh, until we get protect on everybody. Just depends. <sighs> the first part, he's got so many things he can do that you just have to hope that he uses the uh, the less lethal things when you're at lower levels like this, and when you have such squishy party members. That's another thing: is this party configuration is so squishy. Nobody has has hit point totals that I need. Nobody has the hit point totals that I need. So surviving stuff like Earthshaker is really difficult. Okay, that helps a lot. Alright, not doing much with that, but that's okay. Okay, so we've all got protect. Or what was she affected by there? Alright, now I can start dumping thunder rods on him. And let's get you in the front row to start some... Oh! Sword dancing. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Already a better start. Already a much better start. Sword dance here would be, yes, even better for a start. Alright. Nice. I'm gonna get him.
him up, her up to the front row too. Cool. All right. All right. I need more of this. Uh, more of this. Good luck. To keep, keep coming. Ferris will be dead here in a sec. Perfect, though. Um, yeah. I'll revive her with uh, my Geomancer there. Maybe I could have played that more conservatively, I guess, but um, we'll see. We'll see if it works out for me. Is this something like something like Earth Shaker could really um, really ruin my day here? All right, so I'm, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Get another rod. All right, level three flare is going to be a wasted turn because I did that. Um, extra little bit of grinding to get from level 21 to 22. That was the only real uh, improvement there, though. I didn't get uh, the, the hit point totals and MP totals weren't really uh, going to be significant, but getting out of level 3 flare range. Okay, so he's still in his first phase here. I gotta get him out of this first phase. Jitterbug's not going to help much in getting him out of his first phase. That will. That's nice. A couple more sword dances will help also. Take him if we can get him. All right, cool, cool. He's on to the second phase. He's on to the second phase, so um, I should be okay now. I'll have to get uh, my guys in the back row. Because he's gonna start, um, he's gonna start spamming magic and uh, and uh, really heavy physical attacks. But the magic, I should be fine, with the exception of Thundaga. But his fire spells will heal us, and the ice spells will be nullified. So I just have to watch out for his um, for his physical attacks. And I can still snap thunder rods on him with impunity. Yep. So he is most definitely in his uh, in his second phase now. He's most definitely in his second phase. So he's pretty much done with his uh, nasty stuff, and he's just going to be spamming third level magic and uh, vacuum wave attacks. So I just need to keep healing from the vacuum waves and Thundaga on an individual character will, will kill them, almost certainly. But fire will heal, ice will be nullified, so we should be okay. 
So that'll be that'll be reduced to zero. The Thundaga will probably be a one-hit kill on any any individual party member. Thundaga will take out. But that's okay. Uh. Okay. It's gonna take a lot of my healing items, but I think I'll be think I'll be okay here. Alright, so that'll heal, but boy, that's about that's the worst character we could have cast that on, because I needed it to be other characters needed help. I know he's in the back row, but Sword Dance will still do good damage when it uh when it happens. He hasn't gotten one yet since we've entered this uh back row defensive phase. I think most of my damage is going to come from these Thunder Rods. Alright, so that'll be zero. Okay, and a physical attack on top of it. Okay. Let's see what a Sword Dance does. It should still do, yeah, pretty good damage from, uh, from the back row here. Wind flashes should still be good. All right, that's okay. That's okay. The Zaga's no problem. Ferris can get a turn. Yes, here we go. Get him back up. So the Thundaga's the, the big one that's going to be hurting me. Yeah. Like, it's going to be a bunch of snap thunder rods. I'm glad I was, I was spamming these um, or farming them from a, from a chest that had thunder dragons, and I got the flame ring by, um, farming that same chest that also had red dragons that have a, uh, rare steel of a flame ring. Man, he's really leaning on the thunder. I think I've only seen one or two fires. I need those fires. Come on now. I need those fires. Oops, I meant to go down for a for a high potion. Yes, because that would have kept her alive. I meant to grab a high potion for her. Like this. Ah. At least she's alive. I'm not gonna have her heal herself. We need to get some damage into this guy. <laughs> I'm tired of these rounds where it takes a full round to recover from what he does to me just because he's ignoring fire. I've seen a couple of blizzards, which are okay, they're just they're just reduced to zero. There we go. That's nice, and it actually did heal her up. She needed some healing. I'd like a nice all-targeting spell, but that's not how he rolls. If 
but I guess an all-targeting Thundaga would, would be not happy for us. There we go. Keep those coming. I don't even mind the physical attack afterwards. In fact, next time do the physical attack, then fire to heal up all your, your damage. Do that next time. It's gonna end up being a very long battle. And there's the thunder spell. All right. Yeah, Drive Elizer, I did. I um, I sat in front of um, <laughs> I sat in front of the chest in the barrier tower with uh, a thief set to steal, and then uh, another character set to flee right after. So um. And then I just, I hit the turbo A button and had that set to, uh, set to go for a while. So that's why I got, I have all these thunder rods, um, yeah, I have all these thunder rods and four fire rings just from, uh, and then, and then I just, I went and did something. Yeah, I just, I went like, I watched, watched TV for a while. There he is. There he is. So yeah, when I came back, I had, uh, 99 high potions. 40-some Thunder Rods, and, uh, six Flame Rings. I also do- I do the same Thief trick in the, uh, the Karnak Castle Escape, um, in front of those guarded chests- chests with the, uh, Gigas enemies. Um, cause I get- I just run through there, and then so those Gigas enemies have Elixir as a common steal, so I just sit there with the Turbo A button farming Elixirs. The Crystals fight Drysalizer was rough. Um, it was very, very rough. Even with the fire rings, um, with this party with such low health, I had to gain, I think I had to go, um, fight to get one or two levels to be able to, um, survive one of the, like, an Aqua Breath attack. So, uh, that was pretty, it, it was, it was pretty ugly. I got the, so with the flame rings, I got the fire crystal down to critical, so it was healing me. But, um, when I got to the air one, I noticed that it must have a little bit higher agility than the fire one, because it got two aerogas off b between, um, fire three once and knocked me out. But with this party doing such low damage, it takes so long to set it up. So I think I only fought the, the Guardians, like, four times, maybe. But it took, a, you know, it took an hour to set that up. All right. Cool. So there's the X Death win done. I have to say that feels good. I'm. A, I forgot. To, uh, I want to unequip Ferris too. Oh man, it's good to have the X Death fight done. I knew that it was going to take me a few tries because I forgot to buy Holy Waters. Um, because I'm a bonehead in that second world. I was just. I was on a roll last night. I was just watching TV, so I just forgot. Yeah, um, I, I think I am going to, uh, to do the Fork Tower just for the Wonder Rod, because I think for Neo, um, I'm going to have to cast Shell from the Wonder Rod to have uh, one character try to survive an Almagest, and then have them, them heal. Because um, I'm, I'm hoping not to have the power level down there. I'm hoping that if I can get somebody with enough hit points that with Shell they can survive an Almagest, they can heal up and, and bring everyone back, but it's probably going to be pretty tense. Because I don't have a good way to uh, take out the Almagest piece, because even break from the Wonder Rod is going to be at such low, uh, such low odds. Um, it's going to be tough. And then things like, like the Magic Lamp Break would be another one that would be a, a pretty low percent shot. So, it still could be tricky. <laughs> oh, you, got, you had that with the dancer? Alright. Yeah, it's good. When you get good sword dance luck, that can make all the difference. That can make all the difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's what I'm, I'm hoping that it only gets a couple of <laughs> one or two all the jest stuff. Um, and if I can have a character survive it, or even if I can, I'm, I'm keeping um, Kara as the red mage through, so I, I don't think I'll get anywhere close. I know, I can't wait for that chicken knife. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere close to uh, X-Magic with her, but I'm going to keep her as a red mage and see where I am after the um, all the, the boss gauntlets here. Because uh, if she can get X-Magic, then I'll, I can have her try to cast life twice, you know, after an Almagest. So if I can have her be the one who survives Almagest, she could um, theoretically revive two characters in one turn, and then I've got all those elixirs that I, I'm going to be, I assume, on that excess by just dumping elixirs on everybody. But uh, it should be okay. I also got a nice, um, I got a nice power staff drop from uh, one of the black warlocks in Xdeath Castle, so I, I'm going to take on uh, Shinryu, just buy a bunch of Phoenix Downs and take on Shinryu with the uh, power staff, so I won't have to worry about Getting the circling the Wonder Rod all the way to Berserk, I can just cycle it to Shell uh, for Neo and see. That also means I can fight Shinryu before Neo for those uh, 100 AP. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the, the, that elixir trick was really nice, and I've, I've used a couple of them, but you know, not uh, not very many. I'm still playing like I don't have any. What, what do I have now? 82 now, I had 70-something in, in World 1. Because I discovered that the last time I had a thief, but I, there, was, there wasn't there was much time left in the escape. I was like, oh, I can get elixirs from these uh, giant guys. I can just steal them and then run away. And then I just, I planned for it this time. I took it seriously. I, I went to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the castle. I went out and I beat Deathclaw. And then I came back in with, like, Five, five or six minutes left, um, and just camped out. I just le I left one chest that I knew had a giant in it. <laughs> Heal from Crystal Dragon. <laughs> no, I don't know if I want to farm that. I'm, I'm kind of plowing here because this. I want to have it done before tomorrow. Um, because we've got some stuff going on this weekend, and I wanna, I wanna be finished this weekend when the fiesta comes to a close. I want this to be uh, my last one, so I don't know if I'll have time to finish it today, but I would certainly like to be able to do it tomorrow, um, and I'll I, either stream or or record uh, everything on it. But uh, it's nice to have those elixirs. But I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm just, I'm so. Scared of all the jets, because I wish I had a character that had uh, a higher HP modifier. Because I like to just be able to survive one, and you know, with shell, that'll you know that'll knock it down. But even then, I I I may have to do a little bit of grinding to get somebody with a uh, high enough total that even with shell they can survive it. But we'll see. Um, how am I set up for? that stupid thing down there. I usually never even think about it. Yeah, I guess. I'll just, uh... Yeah, I'll just cast Protect on him. I'm gonna be plowing through a lot of these cutscenes. Yeah, I was, I was hoping to not even have to do the the fork tower and stuff. I was thinking about this morning, and I was like, oh yeah, that wonder rod. And that was part of my plan. So, if I didn't have to do the the island shrine and the oh, that's that's a good idea. The uh, ancient sword, old. That's a great idea. I am still sitting on my ancient sword. Because I always hold on to that in case I need it. I, uh... I forgot that that's... That's so helpful. I think I will try that. During the first part. There we go. That. Yeah, 
get old on the Almagest piece. Uh, that would that would certainly help. And 700 would still take out my characters without shell, but um, with shell, however, that would be a great help. I didn't have time to uh, cycle down to healing staff or cura there. That ticking down, that HP leak, it's a tough one. Hold on, Almagest is a, that's a great, a great idea. Thank you for the tip. I was thinking of, of anything I could do there with that, but that'll, that'll help. The, uh, the pyramid should be quick. Um, I'm not really planning on fighting too much, um, besides just getting some of the, the standard array of chests that I usually get. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I am, um, yesterday when I was streaming, so I didn't even have my camera on because I was sniffling so much and, uh, sneezing and blowing my nose and it was pretty gross. Um, I, I, actually it's just really bad allergies here in Ireland this week. I don't think I have a cold or anything, um, but, uh, I think I'm just allergic to something that's blooming here right now, some, uh, some weed or flower some exotic plant out here in Europe just seems to be really bothering me. There we go. Oh. Alright. Get through this. Get through this scene. The pyramid should be quick and the island shrine should be quick. Fork Tower should be fine. I do have a, um, I do have a Reflect Ring that I got from, uh, Carbuncle. Oops. I fought Carbuncle before and got, uh, stole a Reflect Ring, so I, I'll be able to take on, I'll just put that on the Red Mage, um, and have her fight Omni with, with just her piddly little spells. Yes, you should be lucky you don't have plant allergies. Although mine aren't usually too bad. <laughs> well, thank you. Hopefully by, uh, our grandchildren's grandchildren's generation, they'll have that figured out. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, my wife's a geneticist, so she would probably laugh at us talking about this. She'd say we're a lot farther away from it than uh, science fiction would have us believe. <laughs> Let's get through this. And then we have the uh, the turtle scene. That's what that's what we're doing out here in Dublin. Super a genetics lab out here. I'm going to uh, tank through this cutscene. I'll be right back.
right, great. No problem, Drysalizer. Glad you stopped in to hang out for a little while. Pyramid. I have my red mage to um, snap rods like it's going out of style. Um, yeah, and a thief to uh, make sure we're getting in. And then maybe I'll have Bart's the uh, geomancer. Just thinking that this dancer's not quite as uh, dancer's not quite as useful in the pyramid down there. <laughs> Can't really do the dance, and hit point total is even lower than that of the thief. The uh, speed up almost makes it um, almost makes it into compound time. Instead of da 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 da, instead of just eight notes, it's dun 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 dun. So playing this game ten times can do. Oops, I'm still on turbo. Still on turbo. Don't want to do that. Um. All right. Let's see what we're doing here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make him a Geomancer. For my, uh, for my Pyramid Descent. Um, he doesn't really have much for... for red. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. Agility 33. Oh, 28. Okay, so she'll need. Please. Um, and yeah, Steel and Gaia is fine. All right. Okay, so I'll grab that chicken knife and head down pyramid. I think I've got. Lena will be able to um, take down a lot of those guys with flame rods, and I saved, I think, enough flame rods to uh, to make it through. Because I was using just the uh, all those thunder rods that I was farming from the Yellow Dragons. And uh, with no back attacks, I should be in pretty good shape for... for the stuff in the Pyramid. Uh, yes. You know what, actually, I think I forgot to grab the extra... Uh, Guardian Dagger. Don't even need to talk to him. I remember what side the chicken knife's on. 
I've yet to use the Brave Blade. There we go. I have yet to use it. I think I've only gotten Knight in maybe one, or... I think only one of my runs have I gotten the Knight. <laughs> Alright, I've got tons of money now. Can I... Do I need anything? What does she have on her head? Oh, yeah. I thought I had two of those. That's okay. Alright. And I've got, I've got air knives for everybody. So I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, yeah, Geomancer Gaia is not good in the pyramid. What about that, because it's, um... <clears throat> So much stuff is undead, and a lot of the geomancy down there is poison based. So, that'll be very little good for me. Yeah, I've got that power staff. But I think I'm going to try sleep instead of berserk on these guys. so squishy, but nobody has any big attack. Yes, yeah, poison mist. Stuff like that I can't really use down there in the pyramid. Not much good to me. Not so bad up here, though. No. That was bound to happen. I don't want to waste my time with protecting stuff. Come on. Come on, now. Help a brother out. damage him at least with fire. I'm gonna speed through the rest of this because it's time to have to plunk this guy down. Oh, I got him poisoned. That's nice. No good on the undead in there. I'm afraid. And I wonder how close Ferris is to Mug. One oh four. So she's She's getting close to Mug. I'm 
I'm gonna redo my config because I forgot that Gaia is less than useless down there. Dance is also pretty useless down there, too. God, what an annoying dungeon that place is. What an annoying place that uh, dungeon is. Okay, that'll be fine. Oh, and Thief Club. I have better... Alright. I don't need the money from the shield. I'm gonna skip all this... The, the money stuff. I'm gonna skip all of it. We're getting no elf cape love this battle. No elf cape love at all this battle, huh? the robe, and the other one is the, uh, the flame shield. Still don't have holy water. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Got 
forgot about that. Yep, that's what it's uh that's what it's been. This this party configuration is really irritating at spots like this. I think um I think I'm gonna just start skipping a lot of these chests. Um I kinda have an idea of where of where stuff is and, and what I need. Um, and I, yeah, there's not a whole lot that I do need. I'm pretty well set for money. I'll be able to buy, um, three Hermes sandals without much problem before going into the, um, into the cleft. I've got plenty of elixirs, so I don't really need too much for, um, for healing items. Oh, I should have put the chicken knife back on. So... Um, there's not really a whole lot that I that I need, so I think I'm gonna start just skipping a lot of those because it's gonna just be really irritating with me doing a lot of stuff like that, breaking tons of rods and having to revive characters that get killed because I just have nothing that can do much damage. I, I don't want to be dealing with my dancer getting bad jitterbug luck with all this undead stuff down here. And I already know that those those mecha heads are going to be annoying, so I'm going to try to avoid those guys, because there's really nothing on that floor um, that I want. Because I got the white robe. Um, I don't know if I'll need the black robe, but I think you can buy black robes anyway. Um, in Mirage, I think. I think you can buy those in Mirage. Alright. Um, I'm going to try to just avoid all the mecha heads. Nope. 
couldn't avoid that one. That's what I thought. So I'm... That was a nice, uh, nice guy of luck there. Cause it's gonna take a couple rods to take out these guys. And I don't need to run around here picking up the elixirs and all that, all that noise. Oh, almost got through that one. Almost got through that one. Oh, I would have loved to have gotten through that guy. Another Sonic Boom would have been nice. See, just stupid crap like this just irritates me. It's just annoying. Not often I just use that, just like, uh, casually burn an elixir like that, but hey, when you got them, gotta use them. Nice, nice dodging, nice dodging. That's the kind of luck I need. That almost makes me not mind the, uh, the chicken knife run attempt. Almost. Almost. Let's try it again. Alright, so not as good a luck that time. Three dodges, then three hits. Yeah, I, I don't have Mug yet. Uh, Ferris is just a little bit short of, of Mug. Ferris is just a bit short. Um, she'll probably gain it here soon. I think she was like about 40 or so AP short before I came into the pyramid. Um, so she should be getting it here soon. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not too soon, but, um, so we'll be, we'll be getting it, uh, fairly shortly. And then, then I can really start pounding. Then I can really start pounding. So I don't think I need to bother getting that, that crystal thing. Or that black suit. I will grab this money, just because it's easy. And that may help me buy a, that, a black suit when I get down to Mirage. Usually I don't buy that stuff because I always uh, pick it up here. But uh, my this, this party is just trash for that. And I'll grab the... Uh, I'll grab the cottage and the money, but I think I'll skip getting the, um, the hammer here. I 
Yeah, when you're not picking anything up, the uh, the pyramids actually not too bad when you're skipping all the treasure, <laughs> which normally I would not do. Like even those elixirs, I just like I don't need those. I don't want to deal with the uh, the mecha heads for elixirs that I don't need. Yeah, those um, enemies that start with an O have uh, have more have mirage vests, don't they? Those O O Wazorils, whatever they are, they've got they've got them, don't they? Oops. Well, I'll take it anyway. I was going to skip this elixir, but I overran it. I'll take it anyway. Yeah, I, I think I'll grab the one Mirage Vest. Um, and then I don't know if I'll take time to farm for them. I guess it depends if I start having trouble. I may casually just try to get one while we're uh, while we're down there. All right, so pyramid's not so bad. Not too bad on the pyramid. My time's doing okay. So I only have maybe another hour or so today that I can play uh, or that I can stream. Then I've got to uh, I've got to head out for the rest of the afternoon. But that may get me. Uh, I may be able to set up for. Um, For the for the cleft in the hour, grab the magic lamp and the the mirage vest and do do my normal um, world three errands uh, today, so that maybe tomorrow I can just head down to the cleft. And I'm I'm not gonna do Omega this time, but I'll do I'll do Shin this time. I had uh, Beastmaster in my last run, and I got Omega using Tame. I I had three uh, three Tamers kind of chain stopping him, but I still, you still have to do, and I didn't realize it the first couple times I tried him, you still have to be uh, careful on your timing, because even with three people taming him, uh, he still doesn't stay, whoops, he still doesn't uh, stay stopped long enough um, to just hold down the A button, you've got to be careful about making sure to tame him just before you attack with the, uh, the Thundaga sword. Um, oh, tame, oh, tame is a GBA only strat. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, who's got my chicken knife? You've got my chicken knife. I did not realize that, but uh, I saw that's what other folks were doing to uh, to stop him. Like, because I did have a bard run earlier too that I was I was using the um, the sing, but that was a lot tougher because I only had two bards with it. Because sing is so much more expensive AP wise than than uh, tame is. Um, so I had to be really careful with that, and I was still having to chuck Phoenix Downs all over the place. Um, But I also had a chemist, so I was able to uh, get myself immune to a couple of his attacks, like the circle attack and the and the fire ones. I had another chemist run too later. Maybe I'm getting a little confused. I don't know they all start to run together. Then another chemist one that I I had black magic and, and chemist, so I was able to. Uh, that one wasn't too bad. 
just buffed up the chemist with the, all the resistances and then bounce some um, Sundagas off yourself when he uh, does the search. No! Please describe the uh, ancient cave hack. Please describe that while we're going through this uh, pre Merujin cutscene. FF5 like a roguelike. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Um, is it, is it a GBA ROM, or is it the Super NES version? Uh, that, that sounds really cool. I'm I'm very interested. Come on, I don't need any more jitterbugs. Okay. It's a SNS room. I will look for that. Because I really, um, I mean, I really love the mechanics of this game, but yeah, playing it like a long roguelike is very cool. Alright, I need to, uh, I need to watch what she's doing. Okay, ice is healing. Fire team. Thunder damage, yes, thunder damage. Ferris is doomed to do nothing. But that's okay. There we go. It doesn't matter, Ferris just can't quite overcome her defense for now. like a few more sword dances. Gaia's not gonna overcome it either. That's okay. Yeah, I, well, I like to think after my Fiesta runs, I, I know how a lot of the things work. It's a little grindy. That's okay. I can do, I can do grindy. I think I can handle grindy. That would not I would not be a super pro. <laughs> that would be anything but me. Let's see if I can get over her defense in the front row. I 
I would not be a super pro, but, uh... Sounds like something I'd enjoy. Especially if it's a Super NES version. I, I, I need to get back into that one. Okay, so this is her, um, physical weak form. Actually, can she be confused in this form? I'll take that. No problem. I would love to, uh, I'd love to check out the walkthrough vids of it, if you get those put together. I'd love to see those. That sounds really cool. There we go. And I'm very, very, very much uh, interested in doing more with this game, so... Um She can do a little bit. There we go. So Ferris should be pretty close to Mug now. Once we get there, I'll be able to bath through a lot of those bosses. Ha! Huh. Yeah, if you're in a single setting, that's cool. A big long uh, FF5 roguelike. Wow. That would be a lot of fun. Alright. So I would start my the World 3 errands. As we call them. So I think with uh, with Twin Tania, I'm gonna just try to get an assassin dagger um, hit. I'll just I'll just kinda grind for good Twin Tania luck to try to get an assassin dagger instant death hit. From Twintania, just to make things a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker. I should be able to just sit in the back row and heal until I, until he starts charging, and then I'll probably get one shot at him. <laughs> I don't know. I only did the one big long one, and that was tons of fun. That was tons of fun, but uh, it's pr probably only doable when, uh, when my wife is out of town like that. So I can take over the whole house for an entire day. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> and I normally when she's home, we like have things have, have things to do. I usually don't just have nothing to do for an entire day, like that uh, big marathon. So, but hey, eight hours certainly is no uh, insignificant piece of time to play a game like this. I downloaded a different uh, Super NES emulator because I've been using the old ZS NES that I still had from years ago. So the, I downloaded the SNES 9X and I was I kind of toyed with it a little bit the other night with my um, my old FF5. My first Fiesta save file is still on there. I've been using the GBA since since my second one, um, and I, I still haven't decided which one I like better. I do like the 9X is in a window, unlike the old DSNES is in that thing that's not quite a regular window. It doesn't have the nice easy minimize and um, maximize keys on it. I need to play around a little bit more with the uh, how the key mapping and stuff goes. And like how fast the fast forward key is and all of that other good stuff. Oh, I, get, I better save. I guess with, with Flea, it's not as important to save. Yeah, ZS and, and it, yeah, ZS and ES does seem a bit clunky, but, you know, I've seen some people use it for a lot of their cheat patches and stuff. Yeah, the soft patches, yeah. That's what I, I see a lot of people use it for modding things or when they're playing um, alternate versions. Stuff, okay, yes, I do have. Please. 
handy. Oops. I meant to do not that. Yeah, so I'll I'll try the um, SNES 9X. I did try um, Bizhawk, that one that has the multi-core, and then that that one has the B SNES emulator core in it. Um, but that one runs pretty slow on my machine. I think it's just my hardware is pretty you know is pretty weak. Um, so I think that's the problem. that mine just runs on the weak side. Okay, BS any I, I I didn't look I didn't uh, research much of it. I just I downloaded a, a couple of them and, and tried them. But uh, yeah, it was it was really it's most accurate. Okay, it's well well rated for that. But yeah, mine just it was just so slow running. I was like, oh my gosh, yikes! And that's weird because I've I've never really um, had an emulator that couldn't run. I mean, I've I've never really had a super powerful computer or a super nice computer, but I've never had an emulator or I've never tried one that uh, has really had any lag problems. Usually, I just kind of. You know, choose them based on which interface I like. Because I'm not super picky about um, some things that some emulator people really and, and that's it's good that they're that there are purists and that they're interested in those things. Um, you know, they look they listen for like sound effects and stuff. And I, I have noticed that ZSNES um, a lot of sound effects are off. Like Final Fantasy VI, um, three US is um, like the sword strikes in it. They have this weird like crank, and I think that's what it's like in Five. But I've never actually played Five on a Super NES. I've only ever played it on emulators and on on you know the GBA version, so I don't actually know what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, that is strange that they have a hard time with that. Like even now I'm you know I'm playing this one and I'm streaming it and it's uh it's doing okay with the uh the Game Boy Advance on my underpowered machine. Now one thing I don't know, and maybe you do, uh Dryzalizer, is that guy, do you have to talk to him before you run around the world on Boko in order to get the um the vest? Or can you run around before you come to Mirage and still get the vest? I always wonder that. I guess I don't even need this uh, black chocobo. Come on. I'm just going here out of habit. Come on. I don't know if you have to talk to him first or if uh, if you just if I had run around the world before I came to town, if we'd still be okay. I don't know. All right. Tons of money, tons of cash in this in this game from uh, stealing and selling stuff like that. No ice brand, flame tongue, dragon fang, all that stuff. Nice. 
to um, upgrade here. Um, that also for Thief. I've got better for, yes, I've got better for my dancer. And then what for my Geo Dancer? This one bumps up your magic. Um, oh, of course it does. Here we go. wear black garb. Yeah. Although I may, I may, I guess I may run up to, um, I may run up to the Phoenix Tower to get, um, a rainbow dress so I don't have to fight those annoying guys. I guess I might do that. Because I those those Jura Avis guys are really irritating, and I don't like them. So I guess I have more errands here than I thought, but that's okay. I've got I've got time. I should be able to get um, everything pre-clept done today. So then maybe tomorrow I can just carve out an hour or so. Yeah, See, I keep remembering things that, you, you know, you, I kind of keep a mental list, you know, whenever I'm not playing, I kind of think about what I'm going to need, and so I just, yeah, stuff like that, to grab that rainbow dress, because I, I hate fighting those guys. And I, I think even with the um, inconvenience of running up to, uh, running up to the Phoenix Tower, I think it's worth it to not have to deal with running around those guys. The, uh, the Neo, the Exeth and Neo battle should be pretty interesting with this. I'm, if I'm not able to stream it for some reason, I'm definitely going to record it, because um, it could be quite hairy with this party situation I have. Because I don't want to power level, but I may have to do it just enough so that I can survive. Oh, you know what? I can go this way. Do I have to go down? Yeah, I, no, I can't. I have to go down. Here's where you can do it. This is always so embarrassing when I <laughs> do this run around the world thing. Because I always... It always takes me forever, if I can never remember the route. Yeah. I, mean, I think it'll be, it, it'll be tight, but I think I'll be able to do it if I can get... If I can get one character to survive an Almagest, I'll, I'll put... I'll get the Mirage Vest on that character so they can avoid some of those physical attacks. They'll have Shell already, so, um... <laughs> yeah. They'll have shells that they should be protected from... Because I'm kind of considering leaving the back part alive and using the magic lamp last, although that that might be too dangerous. Um, that, that back part might, uh, might take me out. But I'm thinking with, with all the elixirs I have and being able to chuck those around with impunity, that back part's pretty slow, generally, so I... I think, I don't know. I'll, it may take a few tries and it's going to be pretty hairy. So I may have to experiment with it a little bit because I, I kind of like the leaving the back part alive um, and taking it out last. I've kind of liked that the last few times, not having to worry about tracking the hit points of the front two, and you kind of, you can avoid the Grand Crosses by doing enough damage to the Grand Cross piece, so you can just kind of focus on it, and it, 
you know, you'll see fewer grand crosses that way, which is always nice. Um, and if you can just kind of figure out a way to deal with the vacuum waves, which are not easy. The vacuum waves are not, uh, they're not fun. All right. So I think I will run up to um, the Phoenix Tower and grab a rainbow dress quick. Although those enemies are going to be no picnic without break sword. It's nice. I've had quite a few Mystic Knights um, this fiesta. I've gotten pretty good luck with uh, getting Mystic Knights, so it's nice when you have um, when you're trying to steal from those guys, even if you're just using a thief knife, it's nice to be able to use break sword. So as soon as you steal what you need, you can just take them out the next uh, the next round, not worry about all their all their attacks, which are irritating. And that's a battle. Yeah, I thought about that because I, I I thought through the the lamp too because Carbuncle is nice, uh, but you would have already used the Odin part, so Carbuncle wouldn't be as you know wouldn't be useful because you'd have to cycle it through Odin. Uh, and Golem would help get a few of those vacuum wave attacks. But I think if I just if I play it really defensively, um, if I can get past the Almagest piece, I think I can get enough. Speed, um, to be able to, uh, it'll just take us to be chucking a lot of Phoenix Downs and Elixirs on everybody. Um, but I think with enough speed, I should be able to, uh, to handle it. I need flea on somebody with Hermes Sandals. If I can get all the jests out of the way, I should be able to, to do it. Because they, you know, I'm fast enough, or I will be fast enough that Excess shouldn't get, uh, too many turns on me. Even if the magic piece is still alive. Um, okay. Yep, you're right. You're right about that. Um, we're going to be one-hit kill, so just having enough Phoenix Downs, yeah, to uh, keep everybody alive at low health. Yes, that will be important. Alright, and you have Chicken Knife. And I need you probably with the Tiara until I get that Rainbow Dress. Alright, let's hope I only need one battle here. Alright, well, good, I got the right, um... Got the right enemy. Alright, there's the dress. Now I just need to, uh, get out of this battle alive. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's right. All right. Got my rainbow dress. Worth it cuz big stat upgrades and the ribbon. Hello, tank. Dancer. I love ya. Let's get out of here. Do I still have Flea on her? Yeah.
and I'll, I'll redo all my equipment stuff when we get back. Back to civilization. Alright, sweet. I got my rainbow dress, which is fantastic. Alright, how do I want them set for the, um, for that? She's got sleep. Um... Yeah, I will casually try to steal another Mirage Vest, I think. Alright. Cool. Let's do it. I like your Kira joke, that's great, because you're absolutely right. Kira is a, a pretty powerful spell at the uh, hit point totals I have. Yes, I know about Mirage Vest Glitch, yep. Holy cow. Ooh. Yikes. He's gonna revive him because I didn't get uh <laughs> I didn't get the sleep spell to land. Unless I can get another sword dance here. Nope. No luck. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't wanna I don't wanna berserk. I know I have the uh I have the option to berserk. But um Oh, come on. I got much better luck with, with Sleeps last time. Yes, Mirage Vest Glitch is a lifesaver in a lot of situations in this game. Wow. Wow. All right, not a bad spot to get a jitterbug. Come on, thank you. Criminy crackers. See if I can get him to sleep, just to just to shut him up. Just to shut him up. Yeah, that mirage best. And that, that may be... I may need some Mirage Vests for, um, for Neo. I may have to go for some of that action. Just to help, um, keep my characters alive on those vacuum waves. So I'll see if I can land a, a good steal, um, here in the, um... Oh, whatever. Here in the temple. Um, the shortcut menu is working out okay for me, I think. Um, there's still a few times when I when I screw it up, but I've gotten uh, I've gotten better with it. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite like a, you know, a second skin for me just yet, but I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna use that. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get through this. Alright. I have to say, your tip about, um... Uh, your, your tip about, 
uh, shoot, what was I going to say? Uh, putting, putting the, uh, Wendigo guys to sleep was, uh, very, very helpful. I have to say. I've used that every time I fought him since, and it, the, it seems to really screw up the way they behave. Um, putting them to sleep, especially with, like, Sleep Sword, because I found that, like, Sleep Sword damages all of the pieces, no matter what, even if it's not the real one, and you, like, when you kill them sometimes, the other ones, uh, the, the other ones will, um, like, still be okay, so you have to, like, kill them all individually sometimes, but sometimes, as soon as one of them, like, is awakened and gets a turn, it will trigger the, the, um, all-death thing. There's Mug, finally. Awesome. And sitting on my assassin dagger. You are. There we go. So it makes it do some some kind of weird things, but uh, it, it's kind of cool. And I'm just, I'll kind of casually try to get um, another Mirage Vest in here if I can. We'll see. Yeah, I, I would try it next time you, next time you get there, it's, um, it's really strange what it does. So, um, yeah, I'll have, you can, you can decide for yourself. So, like, sometimes I've, I've had to actually, like, wear down the full hit points um, of them. Are the super secret crappy items the ones that are behind the chute? There's like a... There's like a speed shake behind the... behind the tube in that first room. I think... I think those are the ones that you, uh... that you mean. Yeah. Yeah. The ones back behind the... Yeah, what is... I... I'm always... Yeah, high potion, and... Yeah, I... I think I saw these on... Yeah, I... There we go. I, um, I think I saw those on a... Another walkthrough. Oh, this is not... I actually meant to... Go on. Welcome, Dallas. Congratulations on, uh... On the iPad play. Are you playing the, uh... The iOS version? The, um... The one with the smoothed-out graphics? This is where I wanted to go. Or are you playing on an on an emulator playing the old version? Hey now, here's some uh Here's some guys to steal Mirage Vests from. Let's see if I can get one of these, uh, one of these vests. <laughs> you sound like a Brit in Dallas. Yes, hello and me iPad. <clears throat> 
Oh, nice! That's cute! Look at that. Guy getting minied. Dallas, I don't blame you for not finishing it on the iPad version because, uh... Oh, I've already got from that one. Because those loading times are just killer, aren't they? Those loading times are nuts, though. Oops, I meant to, uh... Dance on the other one. That, uh, that PlayStation 1, I had it, too. I had it, too. Uh, I'll just start wearing them down. And those loading times were just killer. I'm sure the iOS version has uh, a lot fewer loading times. I would uh, almost guarantee that. A lot less on the loading times, which of course would be very nice. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, if they don't double miss and make me have to do this again. All high potions from these guys, huh? Uh, Dallas, what part of the game are you on, if you don't mind us asking? Have I gotten... have I stolen from that? Yeah, another high potion. Great. Oh, that's right, this is the mecha head thing. Oh, and this is an unes inescapable battle, huh? Even though it's a chest battle, it's inescapable. I did not know that about this battle. I guess you learn something every day about this game. Just got the airship, Dallas. Well, if you're, uh, if you're gonna be finishing the game for the first time, you're in for a treat, because this is a great game. That's why so many people get together in the summer and play through it over and over, with different, uh, job restrictions in this four-job fiesta. <laughs> if it weren't a spectacular game, that would never happen. And this, this battle isn't even worth... I think it's a protect ring I'm getting that I don't even need. That I should have just... left it. So I don't need or want the protect ring. I'm hoping to steal Dallas a Mirage Vest from one of these guys. These O guys. They're the, uh, but it's, it's the rare steal for these guys. So I'm gonna get, uh, a lot of high potions out of them first. And, uh, sadly I can't sit here and farm them, which would be very nice. Um, and just set my, uh, turbo button to open a chest and steal and run away. Sadly, I can't do that. Hey, cool! Like that. Rare steals are, are that rare, huh? Oh, shoot. Why'd you tell me that? Why'd you tell me that? Now I'm gonna be mad. Now I'm sad. I'm gonna leave these guys, they're all confused. Yeah, I know, but now I know, and now... Now I'm sad. 
<laughs> so now I'm really not going to sit here and farm. I'm just going to... I'll fight these battles best I can. Do a few steal attempts. But, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put in any real effort for it. I think it'd be faster to, uh, just try some, uh, playing X-Death over and over again than, uh, having to grind for a chance like that on these, on these really irritating enemies. Because that's another thing, these guys are really annoying. I could probably put Lamia's Tiara on one of the other characters to avoid the Confuse spell. I guess I could do, I can do that. Which I guess I can do. Throw that on her. She can have that. Oh, it's a thunder rod still. I thought she had a weapon. A real weapon! You know what, I might get a jitterbug here, and die. Alright. No worries. The experience is helping me, if nothing else. The experience is helping me here. Alright, Dallas, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you. Good luck with your run. No Mirage Vest for me. I think I'll be okay without it. Without the, uh... Without the Mirage Vest grinding. Just need to have plenty of Phoenix Downs. I will grab the Circlet here. Just because. I may... Hmm. I guess I'll try him once with this equipment set up. If I need to put on my, um... Flame ring, I can later. If I need to put on the flame rings, I will, but I'll, uh... I'll, I'll go with this with the sleep for now. and see if I can get that to land. Ugh. Derp. We are sleepy. So here's where... Let me... It, it's been different every time I've done this fight. Um, but you can actually sleep all four parts. Um, and then... Um, 
the parts have to be awake for it to trigger that that end part, or for it to move. So it's still that front piece, but like, if I had the Mystic Knight and I was attacking with Sleep Sword, it would actually do damage on these guys, uh, on those other parts. But it also it keeps them from doing their attacks. The the other four parts. I can't remember if I hit that, um, that very back one. I have not tried, so I don't know if this would work. Um, I haven't tried, um, doing this other one. So now I think what I have to do is one of these guys has to get a turn. So I'm gonna, um, plunk him. Yeah, so I killed the front one, but I think one of these guys is going to, so I'm going to plunk this one so it gets a turn. And now I've had them where they've gotten a turn and just become the new one, and I've had to whittle them all down. But um, he might just, when he gets his turn, trigger the um, the death animation. But he might, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try to wake the other ones up, because I, I think you have to wake up the one that's the real one for it to get a turn, and I see, I don't know what, um, what this does. It's really weird. Yeah, so, so here they've gone into this, this other, um, sequence now. Where they're, um, they're like doing stuff, but there's only, oh, there we go. But then now they went away. But there, there they, they went. So, I have no idea what the deal is with that. I have no idea. But, uh, that's, that, that's how it works. That's what happens. Yeah. They must, I mean, they, they must have a funky thing in their AI. I mean, they're a gimmicky boss already, so it's no surprise that there would be something funky about how they behave like that. So, yeah, sleep just really messes up whatever the programmers put in there. So it's strange that they didn't make them immune to sleep. But they didn't, so here we are. To walk back, yay! Um, I think for the the fourth tower. I'm gonna send up, um, 